Wednesday, 17th of April, you're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. Gold buyers in India, the world's biggest consumer, are flocking to stores to buy jewelry and coins. Is this sell-off in gold overdone? Sanjeev Agarwal, CEO at uh, Gitanjali Exports, now joins us. Sanjeev, thank you for joining us today. What did you make of this sharp fall in gold prices? Do you think prices are likely to head even lower from here? If you look at it, uh, there's been a continuous bull run for over 10 years now. Uh, what you bought at 100 rupees 10 years back is now worth uh, 500 rupees as far as gold is concerned. Uh, and this correction of about 15-18 percent, uh, I'm talking about this five times uh, growth in 10 years in spite of this uh, correction that has taken place of about 15-20 percent over the last uh, few days. Uh, a large portion of this correction is on account of uh, speculation uh, and speculative uh, uh, investors moving out of the market partially as well as uh, options and uh, other trades uh, which have come into the market in one big uh, uh, slot uh, in one big aggregation. Uh, there could be a further, sh uh, further short-term decline but uh, the potential for further decline from this level uh, is relatively low. Uh, in fact, uh, going forward there might be some upside that we should be seeing rather than any further decline. Sajeev, do you see this fall triggering retail demand? Was there pent-up demand all this while that, that is coming out now as prices become more affordable? Oh, definitely. Uh, if you look at it over the last three, four days, both inquiries, uh, customer um, uh, movement to our stores as well as offtake has gone up. And it's surprising we've seen this offtake in India. We've seen this offtake growth in even the Middle East market, which has been very promising uh, with the drop in gold prices. Uh, clearly, uh, it's an opportunity for a per person who's buying jewelry to uh, pick up the requirements of, like you said, pent-up demand, uh, to pick up that requirement uh, that is, uh, is the need of the hour, maybe because of the wedding coming up shortly, maybe a pre-booking for Akshay Tritya, and so on and so forth. Sajiv, gold has lost nearly 19% this year, as you said. Do you see speculative activity coming down because more, many analysts seem to suggest that gold may not be a safe haven anymore. What do you think? The growth in demand as well as the uh, and hence the increase in prices over the last uh, 10 years has been largely driven by investment demand and not by jewelry demand. However, in this context, the jewelry in demand in spite of the increase in gold prices in the Indian context has remained constant. What I mean is that over the last 15 odd years, the amount of gold imports in tonnage uh, has remained more or less steady at about 550 tons, plus or minus 10% uh, uh, year on year, in spite of such increase in gold prices. What has moved up significantly is import uh, and purchase of gold in the form of investment. Over 10 years back, the average quantity of gold purchase in the form of investment in India was about 130 tons on an average. That over the last three, four years has moved up to 330, 340 tons. So going forward, there, uh, there would be some element of reduction in investment demand. The fear of a sudden spurt and sudden increase in gold prices uh, has or will subside somewhat and there will be a significant increase in jewelry demand once again. The other interesting factor that we've been seeing over the last uh, few months and which has become more accentuated now is the fact that diamond jewelry demand has been going up steadily. Sure. Because in relation to, uh, to gold prices, mm -hmm. the diamond price has been steady. The, it's become more value for money, more affordable for the same uh, 50,000 or 25,000 or 100,000 rupees a potential jewelry buyer had. So if uh, he had 100,000 Five years back, today uh, he can only buy equivalent of less than half of what she could have afforded. But in the case of diamond, it's not the case. She can still continue to buy as much. So that's been a, a positive shift that we've noticed. One final question, Sanjay. What does this mean in terms of growth outlook for, for retailers like you and specifically for your own company? Are you seeing higher volumes? Uh, definitely. Uh, like I said, uh, the gold uh, jewelry purchase has become more affordable than what it was before uh, and hence uh, the amount of consumption is going to go up uh, look at the also look at the purchasing process normally when 
uh, a lady goes out to buy jewelry, she has a budget in rupee terms. So uh, uh, she'll have a budget of saying, I want to buy jewelry worth 50,000 rupees. And then she'll increase the budget slightly based on the piece of jewelry she likes. Now what's going to happen is for the same budget of 50,000 rupees, she's going to be able to buy more jewelry, which is better for us. More strength to the consumer. Uh, Sajiv Agarwal, many thanks for joining us with your perspective. That was the view on gold.